Hey guys, here's a new one about creating custom sculpting brushes with Blender 2.8. In this new Blender version we have a new tools panel, also with new icons for the sculpting brushes. We are here in sculpting mode and I select a brush, the snake hook. But in order to see the properties of a brush you could switch to the properties panel or you can open the sculpting workspace. Now you can see the properties of the selected brush on the left and the default matcap is selected, this red one. The toolbar with the brushes is visible as well, so that you can select a particular brush. The matcap can be changed in the upper right hand corner and I select the grey one. Ok, when you create a custom brush, you first select an existing brush that you want your new brush to be based on. I select the grease brush, because I want to create a brush with that I can carve into the mesh. So to create it I press this plus icon. And then I give my brush a name, for example, Cracks. I downloaded the free orb brushes from Michael Vicente from Blizzard Entertainment and they are also available on BlendSwap, the link is added to the description below. Now I change some properties of my new brush, I increase the strength to 1 and also the auto smooth property. The brush will subtract geometry from the mesh, that's ok. And now I will set a custom icon for the brush, you can just browse to an image. And I will browse here to the Orb Brushes package and select the Cracks PSD. Ok, here it is. The next thing I do is to add a texture that I want to use as my brush tip. I created here in the texture panel as a new brush texture. Again I use one from the Orb Brushes package, which you can find in the folder named Textures. It isn't displayed here in the texture property of the brush, but that's just a bug in Blender 2.8, which will hopefully be fixed soon. Alright, what I also want to change is the stroke, I will decrease the spacing a bit, and after that I modify the curve, because I want it to be a bit sharper than the default one. I delete the first handle here by pressing the X icon and the second one I set to vector handle and pull it upwards. X symmetry is enabled by default, I will disable this. Ok, these are the changes that I wanted to make for my brush. Now I will enable dynamic topology before I start testing it. When you press the F key, you can change the size of the brush and then you can see the texture that we added for the brush tip. Now this brush can be used to carve into your mesh like this. And the next thing that I want to show you is how to save this brush and how to load and use it in a different project. First I go to File and Save my project. You can see the brush here in the tools menu in the group of the grease brush. This is because we use the grease brush as a base for this custom brush. Ok, when I open a new file now and then switch to sculpting, you can see that the custom brush that we just created is not available. In order to use this brush in the project, you go to File, Append, then select the file that we just saved and that contains the new brush, open the brushes folder and select the cracks brush. And now we can select it in the group of the grease brush and use it for example with dynamic topology. So go ahead and sculpt a little bit with this new brush, I hope you found this tutorial useful and it was understandable for you how to create these custom brushes with Blender 2.8. By the way, you can do this with previous Blender versions as well. Ok guys, if you like this video and my channel, then please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, think about being my patron, this would really help this channel grow. Thank you guys for watching this, 
Thanks for your support and I'll see you soon on JNM.